Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a cute little otter swimming. The colors you're going to need are blue, white, brown, purple, green, yellow, and black. Remember to have a cup of water and a paint rag for keeping your brushes clean. I always stick with my same brushes, my one inch flat brush, and then my 10, six, and one round brushes. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start today off by using my one inch flat brush with some dark blue paint. And I am going to make kind of like a squiggly line that's going to be almost a picture frame around my sweet otter. So everything outside of this, I can go ahead and paint dark blue, but I'm not going to paint anything on the inside quite yet. Once I have that finished, I could just wipe my brush off. I don't have to wash it off, but I did wipe it off a lot. And then I'm gonna start with white paint right here in the middle. So I still have some of that blue on my brush, so the center is gonna be just a light blue. And I'm just gonna kinda start pulling this white out towards that blue edge. Now, once I get to that blue edge, we are gonna blend these two colors together, but we don't want that blue coming too far into our white. So I've got most of my space in here kind of filled in with that light blue, white paint. And then I'm gonna take my brush with white on it and I'm gonna just take my brush and go right along these two edges. And I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times so that they really start to blend together. But I'm not gonna be pulling this color in towards my center a whole lot. Gonna wipe that brush off one more time and then I'm gonna go right here nothing's on my brush right here along these two edges so I've got nothing on my brush but I am just going along where that blue and that white meet just kind of blending those a little bit more I'm gonna go out to that outside edge I'm just gonna keep kind of pulling those together in a wavy line until I get all the way to my edge of my canvas that looks perfect. I'm gonna wash my brush off and wipe it off and I'm going to let this dry. When we come back, we'll lay out our otter. All right, let's lay this cute little guy out. So I am going to um, use white paint and my number 10 round brush to just kind of lay out where my um, otter's gonna go. So I've got my number 10 round brush with some white paint and I'm gonna start off by making a gently curved line right here. Okay, that's going to be his belly. So it looks kind of like a sideways smiley face. From there, I'm going to take it and I'm going to make a big curve around back. It kind of looks like we're making a hot dog, doesn't it? But as we kind of come up, it's going to get just a little bit more narrow. So this is going to be our body shape of our otter. Now his head is going to be an oval that sits right here on top. We can go ahead and give him a little arm. Maybe it's gonna kinda come out this way, a little curved arm on there. And the same thing over here, we're gonna make this curved arm though on top of his body because it looks like he's kind of, you know, grabbing for his tail, which speaking of his tail, his tail is going to be right here. So all that is is a curved line. So the curved line comes here, comes to a point, and then it goes right back and gets fatter. His little legs are going to be um, little ovals. That's gonna be his foot. So two little feet. And then those little feet are just gonna connect down to his body with a couple of little lines. All right, so now that we have our basic otter shape laid out, I'm gonna switch over to brown paint. And I'm gonna show you a couple of areas where we're gonna put our brown paint. The very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a large mustache on his face. 
Everything above that is gonna be brown. We're gonna make both of his arms brown. We're gonna make both of his legs brown. We're gonna make his tail brown. So let's get those couple areas painted in. And then from here, we're gonna start right up here by his head, and I'm gonna make um, just the back of his body be a dark brown as well. So I'm just gonna kinda of go right here along this edge, making the back of his body a dark brown as well. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to keep it a little bit dirty and I'm going to create um, on my palette an area that has a lot of brown, a lot of white, and some yellow in it. What we're doing is we are looking to create a lighter brown for the rest of his body. So if you have a lighter brown you can always grab that. I like to stick with my basic colors and mix and kind of see what I get. So now that I've got this lighter color, I'm gonna paint in all of my leftover spaces with this lighter brown color. All right, we're gonna let this guy dry. When we come back, we are gonna add in some more of our cute little details. All right, while this is finishing up drying, because it's super humid here today, it's been raining all day, so this is not totally dry. It's still a little bit tacky. So while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna add some bubbles around him. So I'm gonna take my finger with some white paint and I am gonna just make some circles. Now, every circle I make, I can make bigger, smaller, doesn't matter but I can add just a little bit of purple onto my finger and kind of put that into the circle as well. I could even add the smallest amount of green. So you can have fun with your um, circles and your dots. You can even add some more white in there if you think it got too dark. But we are going to make some bubbles for our little otter to play in. So just some circles maybe a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple, a little bit of green. I wouldn't put them all together, but you could do little bits at a time and have some fun making some bubbles for your otter to play in. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger. I've wiped it off with some black paint. And I'm gonna go ahead and put his little eyes on here. These eyes are gonna be just above this light colored area with black paint and just two small little, not rectangles, 
ovals. While I have that black paint on my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and add an oval right here for one ear and an oval right here, just kind of going off my canvas for the other ear. Cute little guy. Same finger, same black paint. Right here at the tip of where that um, little mustache came down, we're gonna go nice big oval for our nose. With my finger still a little bit dirty, a little bit of black paint on the very tip of the finger. And I'm gonna put three little dots on the end of his feet. I'm gonna move over to my number six round brush and a little bit of black paint. I'm gonna water the black paint down just a hair because when I like to make my straight lines, um, I like to have my brush just kind of with a little bit of wet paint. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna make a big old smiley face on the left and the right of his face. You can even add a little frowny face on the end of these, just to give it a little more character. And then I could take my paintbrush and just put a couple lines out for some whiskers. Wash that brush off. I'm gonna go in with some brown paint on my brush as well as some white paint. So I've got white and brown on my brush. And I'm gonna go right up here at the top and just kind of make a couple little lines. Ooh, I definitely want more brown than that couple little lines at the top of his little head. So he's got some hair sticking up. I can do that right here along the edges of my head too. Wash that brush off. I'm gonna go ahead and um, outline a couple of my shapes just a little bit better. So like my arms, I want them to be a really nice dark outline to them. So I've got some dark brown paint and I'm just gonna go right around those arms one more time. With a little bit of white paint, I could just make three little I guess, sorry, two little curved lines to make three little fingers right here on the end of his paws. I'm gonna add a couple of little black triangles to the tips of his toes because he does have some sharp little nails there. Paint those little triangles in. side of this foot so we can see it a little better. Just a little bit of black paint, just to kind of outline the back of that foot. On his tail, I'm gonna go in with some dark brown paint and paint the back side of it so that the back side's just a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna grab some of that lighter color I made and just kind of have it go along the top of the tail of brush that in towards the back. You can do the same thing along the back of his body. It's a little bit of a darker line. And even the back side of his legs. Wash that brush off, wipe it off. I'm gonna take a little bit of this dark brown and come right through here, the other side of his body. And then right here along the middle of his body, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of, just some small little lines to make it look like there's some fur on his belly. Right 
here underneath this chin, I'm gonna go with some dark brown paint and just make a, sh a gentle little line. I don't have to make my lines super nice and neat. I just wanna fill it in a little bit so it looks like he's got some space between his head and his body. Wash that brush off. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white paint and on the top of his nose, I'm gonna make just a gently curved line. I'm gonna use the back of my brush with some white paint and I'm gonna put one big dot followed by one baby dot on both of his eyes. A big dot followed by a baby dot. I'm gonna add a small little curved line just like I put on his nose, on his ears. I'm gonna go in with some white paint and I'm gonna make some little lines around these bubbles that I made. So a little bit of white paint right around these bubbles. With a little bit of that white paint on here, I'm just gonna go in and make just a couple little lines just above his nose. Maybe even some over here in his cheeks. I really like those white lines. I have a problem. Sometimes I like to add too much. So I have to make myself stop sometimes. Let's give him two little eyebrows with a black paint just over his eye. Two little cute eyebrows. Wash that paint off, go in with a little bit of white paint and add just a little curved line to the back of his feet, the front of his foot right there, maybe even right here along the top of his tail. All right guys, I think our cute little otter is finished. So you know what to do when you're done. You can take a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and you can sign your name. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're kept up to date with all of our tutorials. And remember, I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you share it with me on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember friends, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day. Bye.